Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jonathan and welcome back to another Permaslug video. Today what I wanted to show you guys is inside of the Oxygen Builder there is a function that uh, you'll notice is called Easy Post. And what that allows you to do is easily display in a nice looking list any type of post content on your page, whether it be the conventional built-in WordPress post types or you can create some custom post types like properties in this case is what we're gonna do. But what I wanna show you specifically is how to get the advanced custom fields data that you might have for your custom post type into the um, Easy Post tool, which will basically allow you to show some extra data on your posts in the, um, the kind of post archive. If you're not sure what all these words are, don't worry, I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do, how it's gonna benefit you and how you can take advantage of it. If you're not familiar with Oxygen, it's similar to WP Bakery, Visual Composer, any of those site builders out there, except you more or less design your site from the ground up. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like and how it functions here in just a minute. So moving right into this particular website, I've gone ahead and set up a really simple website that's based around, like I said, vacation rental properties. So this is just a sample homepage that I have set up. What I have done so far is in the back end of the site, you'll notice I have a custom post type here created called properties. And inside of that, I went ahead and created a couple properties and just titled the post title, the name of the property, set up how many bedrooms, bathrooms, and where it's located using advanced custom fields. This is not the pro version. This is just the standard ACF that you can get for free in the WordPress repository, filled in some content about the property, and then also set the featured image. And then from here, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to create an archive template for your custom post type. Basically, what I've done so far on this site is, like I said, I've created the, um, the header and footer in the all pages template here and then the actual properties themselves. It looks extremely simple, but I went ahead and created a really, uh, like I said, simple template that uh, renders this page here. So. What we're going to do now is actually get started by creating the archive template. Now, one thing to note is that if you have created a custom post type, you'll want to make sure that in whatever tool you're using, you've set the archive to, uh, to enable basically. So right now I'm editing the properties custom post type. And if I look for has archive, you can see that right here, my archive is set to true. What we're about to do is not going to work unless you have archive set to true, because otherwise there's going to be no sort of like main listing, no more, no more index. Um, for all of these posts inside of your custom post type. So make sure has archive is set to true is the moral of this story. Now let's go to oxygen and templates and let's go ahead and add a new template. In this case, we'll just call this property archive and then you only need to do a couple of things. If you already have a template on your site that's kind of your master, let's say like contains your header and footer, go ahead and select that. In my case, it's this one, it's called all pages. From here, under the, where does this template apply, you don't need to worry about the singular because this is not just going to apply to one particular post. Um, this is going to apply to basically the main list, the archive of all this posts in this particular type. You can, you can allow uh, multiple post types to be covered by the same template, but in this case, because again, we're gonna be pulling out some custom field data for each of these posts, I'm only going to select the properties post type in this case. What we'll do now is click on publish and then let's click edit with oxygen. So what we're going to do to get this rolling is go ahead and start off by adding in a section, go to add, you can either search for easy posts or if you click on the helpers button and then choose easy posts, you'll see that it's going to pull up our properties because we have set this template to apply to the properties um, properties post type and we have our archive set to true. Now this looks fairly good, um, although this is not exactly the look at, that I would want personally. I think I would switch to one of the pre-built templates here, let's say list image on left. But still, there's a bunch of unnecessary information here. We don't care about the author. I don't want it to say read more. I want to change that. I also want to get rid of this date here. So what you can do is actually click on the templates button. Click on template PHP. The first thing I'm going to do is delete this date format div right here. Um, and then I'll show you once I click apply code, the date overlay on the image disappears. Um, this this uh, date format we don't need either. The author we don't need. The comments we don't need and I'll click apply and show you that's gonna clean it up just a little bit. The read more button might make more sense to say something like view property. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, click on apply. Um, and I think where I want the data to appear for my number of bedrooms and number of bathrooms, which are my custom field names, like I showed you guys earlier, um, is gonna be underneath the title. And you can see that the title is right here. There's also this div right here that did contain some meta information. So that's probably a good spot to fill in this um, 
fill in this extra data. You could rename this div to something that makes a little bit more sense to your use case to be able to better control the styling. Um, but I think what I'll do is just not worry about that for, for the moment. And let's just go ahead and write the really simple PHP that will allow us to display the data stored inside these custom fields. So just go PHP and then the underscore field. And then you're gonna write the field name in this, in this uh, particular spot, which in this case is gonna be, actually let's do bedrooms first. And then uh, we'll just go basically close out this PHP. And now what you'll find when you click on apply code is that there is a nice little number one there next to the couple's bungalow, number six next to the beach hotel, and number two under beach bungalow. That's not quite what we want. So let's say bedrooms, something like that. And then click apply again. And now we have bedrooms in front of the one, which makes it plain as day what that particular uh, data point is talking about. Let's do the same thing basically. And uh, we'll call this one bathrooms. And then just change out the custom field there to bathrooms. And as you can see, they are kind of right next to each other. So you'd need to do a little bit of styling, maybe add like a, a you know paragraph or maybe put these into two different divs if you wanna style them differently. Maybe you wanna add an icon or something like that. So now what I wanna do is show the location as well. And I think what I'll do is just copy and paste this and we'll put it below the excerpt, but before the view properties. So we can just put that right there, maybe take out a space or two, and then I'm just gonna go located in, and then change the field label once again to location is what I called it. If you click on apply, then you can see each of these now display where they're located. So located in Bora Bora, for instance, located in Maldives, Miami Beach, and they all contain their bedrooms and bathrooms. So as you can see, it's really easy to add some nice data points to your um, archive in, in the easy post. And that makes it just really applicable to a lot of different use cases. In this, in this example, of course, we're talking about like a vacation rental site, but this could be for real estate, cars, you know, really any business that has a series of posts. This could be for your portfolio. It could be for really anything. So the, the options here are, are really broad. And I really only needed a couple of things to create this layout. Of course, I'm using Oxygen to design the website. I use custom post types UI to create that CPT, that custom post type. And then I use advanced custom fields to create those fields that store the bedrooms, bathrooms, and the location data points. So as you can see, once again, it's extremely simple, really quick and easy to set up something like this. And I hope you guys have some pretty cool use cases for this, or this just helps you create a site that um, you wouldn't have been able to achieve outside of Oxygen. Again, my name is Jonathan, and this channel is called Permaslug. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I can't wait to see you guys in the future.